Well, welcome to another edition of Ref, the Referendum uh, Chat Network show, whatever the hell it is. Let's just give it a few minutes to all other people log in, and then we'll discuss today's events. So just give it like maybe a minute. Who voted today? Let me know if you voted today. All well, those who live in the Toms River Regional School District. I don't care if you live in Canada. It doesn't affect me at all. Just uh, give it another like 30 seconds. Then we're going to talk about some things. I see a few teachers logged in. Jillian, I hope you voted today. All right, so why wait? Because this can be replayed. Um, so thank you for tuning in. I uh, just got a couple things I want to cover. We're pretty much mostly through the election day for the referendum. Tom Zerber is not the only people having a referendum today, by the way. Um, it's happening throughout the state. And uh, you know, I wish, I wish every district that's having one the best because you know, rarely does a referendum happen to this multitude. Say, say it wasn't even 150 million, say it was 50 million. Would that make a difference? Because $150 million isn't still adequate to do everything that we need to do to make this district look like some other districts that I've seen throughout the state. So 150 million, 147 and change, 49 of which is coming from the state to, as a you know subsidy for our tax stuff. So we're roughly looking at $100 million spread out between Tom's River, Beachwood, Pine Beach, and South Tom's River. Um, and, you know, a lot of the chatter that I'm seeing on social media, I'll uh, be honest with you, as somebody who served this country for 23 years to protect American freedoms, I feel let down, honestly. Um, not the majority, but there's just comments on there that are, that are astonishing. Um, the lack of civics, the lack of knowledge that people in the community have about local government, how it's run, who can do what, how money's raised, how, how taxes, you know, affect um, you know, the schools and, and what's happened over the past 10 years here in the district. You know, there's, there's a whole large portion of people that I understand that I'm reading that have no idea what happened with Rotaka and how no money was put into buildings and grounds, into the classrooms, the physical structure of the classrooms for 20, 25, 30 years, maybe. Where did that money go? I don't know. I wasn't around. I was overseas or I was in the military. But I, I tell you what, I'm not responsible for it, but I'm here to try to fix it along with several people on my team, my colleagues, the administration, the, the teachers union, the teachers. I mean, we're all in the same, same fight here trying to do the right thing. A lot of community members stepping up too, trying to, trying to get the, the, the correct word out, not just the spin. Um, so I, I thank you uh, to all those people, you know who you are. Um, so just real quick, I just wanna run down, you know, like a lot of people think that this just happened yesterday. This has been going on for the last four years. The planning for today has been going on for four years, probably more. Um, and I'm very proud of everybody who put the hard work into it to make this happen. And uh, I'm hopefully, hopefully we come out on the right side of it tonight. But I just wanna tell you a little bit about your board of education, your current board of education, all right? Everybody knows me because you're on here. You have, an, you have an idea of my background, 23 years in the military, master's degree in uh, public administration, a lot of leadership and management experience in my 42 years. Um, I'm used to working with large projects, large diverse populations and, and you know, getting along with people. You know, it doesn't seem like that because if you say something ignorant, I'm not gonna let you, you know, I'm just not just gonna give you the politically correct, you know, nod and let you, let you do that on social media. 
but other than myself, we have we have several smart people on the board. We you know we have board president Joe Nardini, businessman in town for over forty years, um, knows construction, knows electrical work, knows more about this stuff than most people, especially union PLA agreements, uh, how that work's going to get done. He's he's a subject matter expert. You got uh, vice president, former mayor Russ Corby of Pine Beach, probably fifty years in government, um, knows more than anyone else that I know um, about politics, local politics, state politics, federal politics, the ins and outs of things that have worked and not worked in the past, um, how to approach things, you know, from, from that perspective, somebody who's been working, you know, for many years with the assembly and the legislature is an asset. Um, you know, we just elected Anna Palazzo and, um, and Jen Howe, two, two advocates that have been to every meeting that I can remember for the past several years. Parents, taxpayers, people that are on the board now speaking on behalf of things that they've come up to the podium. They've actually attended meetings and have come up to the podium and put their finger at the board and said, you guys need to do this, fix that, you do this well. They spoke up and now they're on the board because they're advocates, they're leaders for the district, and that's why they're on the board of education. And I'm proud to have both of them fighting now on the same team moving forward as the district should. We have um, Michelle Williams, former uh, principal of St. Joe's. Um, Again, 40, 50 years in education, brings that wealth of knowledge to our board. Mike Corrigan works for the Department of Transportation, is a budget guy over there dealing with multi-million dollar budgets. He's our budget chair for the board. Um, what am I missing? Ginny Ryan, teacher, parent, very involved with the district, um, very, very uh, you know, close with the community. She knows she hears she hears what's going on in the community, brings it to the board and tries to, you know, her do her, you know, lead the board through what she finds out. Again, very smart person. I'm glad to have her on the team. Um, who did I, who did I leave out so far? Uh, Janet Bell, a uh, teacher in Central Regional School District. Again, a wealth of knowledge. Many, 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 many years on the board. Or, uh, she's been on the board since 2016 with me. Many years in education. Um, knows it in and out. Very good asset for the people to have. This isn't the board of you know many years ago. Uh, you know, most of the people on this board, I think. The oldest person on this board is maybe uh, the longest surfing. I don't want to say oldest person. I'll get in trouble. The longest surfing person on this board is Joe Nardini. And he's been on since, I believe, 2016. I'm sorry. He's 2015. I'm 2016. So we're going back only four years. Four, not even four years. Um, we're looking at a little, roughly three and a half, four years of people on this board. So anything that happened before that, this board wasn't responsible for, but we got elected to fix it. And that's what we're trying to do. So I'm very proud of the people that I serve with on the board. My colleagues, we come from very diverse backgrounds, politically, ideology, whatever it is. We're very different from all over the place. We have totally different life experiences. We come together for our committee meetings and our board meetings. Do we agree on everything? No. Do we talk like adults about it in the back room? Yes, we do. And we try to come out with the best deal for the people, the teachers, the, the kids, and the taxpayers. And I have, no, I have no qualms about that. I think this is the best board that you've had as far as I can remember. And I graduated back in 94. So 25 years of knowing anything about the Board of Education. This is the best opportunity that you have to have people that care on the board. There's nobody here trying to steal money. I see that going around on social media. There's nobody. People think that Board of Education members get paid. We are volunteers. I do it because it needs to get done. And I, I, I do it well. And I work well with people. And that's why we all do it. We do it because we love the community. We love the children. We want to help the teachers. We want to help these buildings that are, that are decrepit. That's one of the reasons I ran to begin with. I was at a back to school night several years ago. It's like nine o'clock at night. I'm sweating bullets like I was in high school. It's probably why I ended up in the military. So I wasn't paying attention. I could have went to Harvard, but I didn't. Um, so I went in the military and uh, here we are. Um, but we need to get these schools up to date. We need to fix the uh, security um, and safety in the schools. We need HVAC, you know, heating and cooling. It's too hot or too cold in many of these schools. Uh, ADA access, ADA compliancy, that's not going on. Uh, a lot of things have been grandfathered. We're going to fix that, address that. Um, you could say why, 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 who did what. It doesn't matter. We know where Taco was in jail. I don't know where all that money went. I wasn't there, and nobody on this board was there, and nobody on this in administration had anything to do with it. Um, the, the majority of our, our senior administration is new, last five years. There was a couple of people that were around, but they were, they were low level. They had no problem. You know, If the FBI investigated this district, Trust me, the right people went to prison and the right people got in trouble and relieved. It's a new day and we're trying to, we're trying to make up for the mistakes of the past. And that's all we're trying to do. 
Um, you know, it's just, uh, it's sad that, that good, you, you know, you're, you're electing the best people that you can elect. Um, and they're up there and we're trying to work together, but still a majority of comments that I see are totally nonsense. And I don't know where they're getting it from. And that's why, you know, I'm really, I, I like social media, as you know, but I mean, I'm starting to question like what you can't, I wasn't elected to look at 25, 30 different feeds throughout the day and try to catch up and try to keep up with everything. And if I don't, then I'm trying to avoid the question or whatever spin you're putting out there, some of you. But that's why we have a website. We have a, we have a, we have a website, the Thomas River Regional Schools website. You can go on there. If you have any questions, you can send that question to referendum at trschools.com and it'll be answered. But, you know, you don't just put it on social media. You have to actually go to the official source. Single point of information, a single source where everything is funneled to so that proper information can get pushed back out. If you're expecting board members to pop onto Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, trying to answer everything all day long, 50 times, I mean, it's really not that good. And it's not that effective. It's not that efficient. And that's why that's why the district has done an excellent job of getting the information out. They did 23 meetings. Excuse me for one minute. I think my mail is here. Hold on a second. I'm going over. All right, who left? So anyway, single source of information. We held 23 meetings. Uh, we, had, we had one at every school last year, every school in the district, and we just did three referendum town halls at all three high schools over the last couple weeks. Everybody had the opportunity to come out, ask questions, send email questions, and now here it is election day. I'm seeing questions that were asked eight, nine, ten months ago. Like, like we just sprung this up yesterday, this election. So, you know, I could do a lot of things, but what I can't do is, is hold everybody's hand and have them engage in the civic process of, you know, information and elections and referendums and tax discussions and, you know, individual responsibility is big. And I think that we're, we're losing it as a, uh, as a nation. I mean, we're losing our individual responsibilities to, to actually do stuff that matters. Facebook's not an official source of, of public discourse. I mean, you have to go to open public meetings, ask questions, and if you don't want to ask the questions, find somebody that will ask it for you. Get it on the record so it goes into the minutes, follow up like so many people have done, Anna, Krista, Erica, Bev Clancy, Karen Luff, a lot of good people out there that are, that are involved, but it's just not enough not enough to, uh, to really move us into the future. So this board is left to make a decision. We made that decision. This is the best deal that the taxpayers are gonna get. And I'm sorry, I, you know, I mean, nobody wants to pay higher taxes, but I really think that it's really uh, not a lot to ask a few bucks a month um, for a $150 million referendum that's gonna bring us back from the past and move us into the future. I just don't, that's me. So for this this vote today, I I fully endorse that the that our children and our teachers come first, and the best rate that you're getting is what you're getting in this ref referendum. If you choose to vote no in this referendum and shot down tonight, I will tell you that you will be paying more down the road due to cost of materials, cost of labor, the non guarantee that the state's going to kick in that forty seven million dollars next time. That money's going to get either go to another district or they're going to find another department to put that money into. So today is the opportunity to get that 47, or that 47 million along with our 100 million and uh, lock in that 20 year bond at a good rate that we have under 4%. And, and let's just get it done. And then uh, let's get it done. And then tomorrow we can have the discussion about why did it happen? We all know why it, why it happened. That's already been done. And it's less than 25 cents a day for most people. Um, we all know why it happened. We just need to make sure it never happens again. And I think you have the right people on the board now um, working together in the right direction um, to move it forward. And I wouldn't recommend anybody from Beachwood replacing me that I didn't have full confidence in, um, that I thought was qualified to do the job. So as long as I'm here, there's not going to be any corruption. Nobody's taking money or kickbacks. I read that today. Um, Bill Spadia, fake news. Phil Stilton, fake news. What's, what do they have? What's the interest that they have to talk negatively about our, our, our district? 
I know what Phil's is. He gets paid by the Republican Party for advertising. And if you notice on his Shore News Network, you know, everything that's on that site is, is, is slanted. And the people that get the favorable articles are the ones that have the paid advertising all over the website. It's everybody knows it. Every media, local media person knows it. The real media around here, the honest media, the fair media, is Karen Wall from The Patch, Daniel Nee from Shorebeat, Jason Allentoff and Chris Lundy from Micromedia Publications. All right, they, they put out the uh, Towns River Times and, and the Berkeley Times and those things. And Karen, uh, I'm sorry, uh, G. Michael from the Asbury Park Press um, and Eric Larson in the past. I mean, these are people that, that come to the meetings, they take notes, they ask questions, they write up an article. And we have a, we have a chance in face-to-face -face meetings after these after our public meetings to you know answer questions and, and get uh, get on the record. Phil Stoughton, I haven't, I've seen him at one meeting in the last four years for like five minutes he was there. Yet he writes articles about things that he never witnessed. He doesn't ask questions. He just makes the stuff up. And, you know, he doesn't like me and I don't like him and I really don't care. All right. He is fake news. Phil Stilton, fake news Phil of the Shore News Network is fake news. He gets paid by political people to write political stuff. It's a hit job, the things he puts about our district. And Bill Spadia, he's trying either trying to be governor or trying to do something on NJ 101.5 this morning, telling us to shoot down the Tom's River referendum. He has no interest here. He's from Princeton. Look at the statistics on Princeton and his schools. Total hypocrite. Total hit job. Ridiculous. So I hope everybody got up today and went out and voted. Voted yes for the Tom's River referendum. We need it. Um, tonight, I guess the poll results will come in sometime around between 7, 8, somewhere around there. And uh, hopefully it works out in our favor um, because, you know, we're not, um, we're not asking for money so we can waste it. Trust me, we're, those people spent and wasted your money years ago. You elected the people that are going to fix it. And there's a, there's a real lack of trust uh, amongst public officials. And it's, it's, struggle, it's, it's hard for me to struggle with this every day because I'm trying to do the right thing and I'm hearing all the wrong things. And, uh, you know, I, I repeated it over and over and over again. And if people... People know that they, if they vote no to this referendum today, and they know that they're going to be paying more down the road, and they still vote no out of spite because, you know, for whatever, they don't like Phil Murphy, they don't want illegals to have legal representation, they don't want illegals to have free schooling, they don't want illegals to get driver's license. What the hell does that have to do with our kids in Tom's River or our teachers in Tom's River? I mean, channel your outrage in the right direction. Vote yes for the referendum in Tom's River. Give our teachers and our students and our children the best deal that they can get, give our taxpayers the lowest deal that they can get, which is today's vote. And if you want to fight those issues, fight them. But voting no for the referendum is, is pretty much cutting off your nose, spite your face, shooting yourself in the foot, any of those, those stupid uh, sayings, that's what it is. So we need you to vote yes, tell everybody to vote yes, there's a couple hours left. Um, there's really not much else I can do, but do what I do. And um, hopefully somebody comes in with a you know, million dollars and gives me my own show here in the county and we'll get shit straightened out. But I don't think that's going to happen. But if it does, be ready because I'm going to change it. So Team Leonard signing off. I just want to say thank you, everybody, for tuning in. And um, we just got to do the right thing. Never allow what happened in the past in this district to happen again. And that's all I can do. I can't change the past. I'm sorry that it happened. I understand the mistrust. But that's, that's not going to affect me knowing the facts and have the evidence as to why we need to do what we need to do so we can move forward and progress into the future. Um, Get the information from the right sources too. Let's let's not let's not uh, let's not spread fake news. Get 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 accurate information, please, before you spread it online. So I want to thank everybody for uh, listening to me today, and I want to thank um, my fellow board of education members. It's been a hard fought battle. Uh, we fight a lot of battles on the board. We're unpaid volunteers, but you know what? We have a common interest, and that's the district, and uh, that's what brings us together. It's not about the money. It's about doing what's right and making sure that our people are safe, secure. And, and working in uh, you know, temperature controlled buildings without bugs and rodents. That's just, that's terrible. Um, so let's just uh, we'll thank my fellow colleagues. I want to thank the administration, Mr. Healy, Mr. Doring, and everybody that falls down from them for putting this together over the last four years. That's where we got to where we are today. And um, let's hope it passes. All right. So thank you very much. Let's finish strong tonight. Please, everybody, if you're watching this, share something off my page, at least until seven o'clock tonight. Let's get everything shared. Tell everybody to vote yes for the referendum. So thank you. Thank everybody in Tom's River Regional School District. I'm going to thank the teachers, the paras, all the staff, you know, from the kitchen workers to the buildings and grounds to the 
you know, to the, the bus aides, to everybody. I mean, this is a team effort. And unless we all start coming together as a team, I mean, really, I'm, I'm not just saying it have to be cliche. I mean, unless we start coming together as a team, like that we are TR, like that, that saying <laughs> that we're going to fall apart if we don't. And we're pretty close to the brink, and we need to we need to win this tonight. And if not, we have some hard decisions to make, and we can't get there. We need to make this pass. So you don't leave anything on the field. Get out there, share that this referendum needs to get passed. Say vote yes to everybody that you know, parents, teachers. Please let's let's finish strong. So thank you very much, and let's give our kids and our teachers everything they deserve. All right, thank you.